Hello, I'm Rob in collaboration with Mile High United Way. In this series, I will show you how to use a computer, from the most basic skills to those necessary to start incorporating computer use in your daily life. These videos will also empower you to help your children with their online homework. Sometimes life demands that we transform ourselves and learn a new skill. Technology and computer use can be overwhelming or scary, but these videos are designed for those with little or no experience with computers. Welcome to Using a Computer with Ease. We won't be demonstrating all uses of a computer, only the basics so you can understand the layout of a computer and feel more comfortable using it. Sometimes, thinking of the internet as it is, a web of interconnected computers through a system of wires and cables, all sharing information in the form of ones and zeros, doesn't help us conceptualize how it can help us. For that reason, it helps to think of the internet as a mall. Imagine that you want to go to the mall to buy some new shoes. First, how do you get to the mall? You have to drive there, park your car, and go in the doors. To use the internet, you have to use a web browser. Like your car, this is a program that helps you arrive to the internet and begin. Each mall has different shops and stores that have nothing to do with each other, and yet are connected to the mall so you can easily go between them. That's how the internet works. Each website is like its own shop, independent of the rest, and yet still connected in the same place, your computer. And just like with a physical place, which have their own addresses, websites have their own web addresses, so you can find the site. Like a physical address, web addresses have to be exact. The website google.com is a popular search engine. Meanwhile, goggle.com could be a website for glasses. You enter web addresses in this part of the web browser. It's called the search bar or address bar. Like its name, search bar implies you can write a few words with spaces there instead of a web address and a Google search will appear instead. Or, used as the address bar, you'll have to write a web address exactly as it appears. Today, you don't have to type out the full HTTPS colon www dot, which is part of a typical address. Just write everything after. Push enter and bam, you're there. Remember, a web address doesn't have spaces or uppercase letters. And be careful, a web address is not the same as an email address. Email addresses always have the at sign, and they can be compared to a post office. Websites usually have an ending like .com, .gov, .org, or .edu, just to name a few. These endings help you understand what type of website you're at. .com is for a commercial website. .gov is a government website. .org is used by organizations like nonprofits. .edu is an educational website. In contrast to a mall, you can be in more than one site at the same time. In the title bar of your browser, Google Chrome, you'll see tabs, like the tabs on a file folder. 
Next to the rightmost tab, you'll see a plus sign. A click here opens a new tab with which you can go to another site. You can change which site you're looking at by clicking on another tab. Your web browser, Google Chrome, has a number of functional buttons. The left-facing arrow is the back button, which will take you to the last page you visited. Click on it multiple times to go back even further. If you go back too far, use the right-facing arrow to go forward in the timeline of your searches. Sometimes the internet fails to open a page, or only loads part of it. If you want to try again, click the refresh button, this circling arrow. Many times, clicking this button will solve internet loading problems. It's the first step you should try if you have a page that's loading very slowly or not at all. The button in the form of a house is the home button, which goes directly to the page you have set as your home page in the settings area. To start off navigating the internet, it's not necessary until you've discovered which page you want to start off from every time you access the internet. These are hardly all the buttons or features that are part of your web browser. However, with these buttons of back, forward, home, and refresh, you should be able to start using the internet. Try navigating to a few websites. Or can you find the website for your child's school? Try a search with the name of the school, and once you've found it, try it again in a new tab, typing in the entire web address. If you make a mistake, don't forget about the back button.